Investors continuing to digest headlines and images of violence in the Middle East and the Malaysian air crash site in Ukraine. But the S&P is still trading around those record highs. Russ Kosterich, BlackRock's global chief investment strategist, writes in the Financial Times this morning, for the most part, much of the global unrest this year has not been directly linked to near-term economic or earnings growth and as such should have little significance for the global economy. So what does Dr. Doom think about that? Mark Faber, managing director of investment firm Mark Faber Limited and publisher of the Gloom, Boom and Doom Report uh, joins me now. Uh, Dr. Faber, it's great to have you here. Uh, what do you think pleasure. about that, that there's no near-term economic impact so we're not seeing any kind of fallout in the market? Well, I would say that at the present time, uh, the news is always viewed as positive because even bad news implies that the Fed and other central banks will mm -hmm. print more money. And we are in a bubble. In a bubble, uh, people are optimistic. There is euphoria about uh, prices going higher and so forth. And that may be possible. The question is, are stocks good value and I don't think that US stocks are particularly good value if you look at uh, price to book if you look at the market capitalization as a percent of the economy is now at the second highest it's ever been the highest was in 2000 mm -hmm. and each time when the market cap as a percent of the economy was this high it ended in tears. But Dr. Faber, so, you know, you've been calling for a correction on the S&P uh, since 2012. You're still calling for that 30% correction, but we keep not getting it. Why do you think this time might be different? Well, uh, it is correct. I called for a correction after having been positive about equities since 2009. Uh, when the S&P was at 666. And uh, I think the reason why stocks keep on going up is the excess liquidity that is being created by the Fed and other central banks around the world. It's not because of a brilliant global economic outlook. As you know, the mm -hmm. economy in the U.S is growing at the very slow pace at very best. It depends how you translate the economic data that the government is publishing into reality. Number two, the European economies are hardly growing. And in emerging economies, we have evidence, and I repeat, we have the evidence that there is a meaningful slowdown. Now, most of the economic growth in the world came from the growth in emerging economies right. post-crisis in 2008. So if those economies slow down, it won't be very good for corporate profit. Does that mean, Dr. Faber, that across the board, would you be shorting then U.S. equities, European equities, as well as emerging market equities? Well, when you have a Fed printing money like crazy, and if the market dropped, 20% they would probably increase the asset purchases. It's dangerous to short stocks. But we have a lot of stocks that have already gone down 20 to 40%. Number two, whereas you always accuse me that I was uh, calling for a correction, I think there may not be a correction until there'll be a more significant decline. Mm. And B, since November of last year, I've been calling uh, for gold to rally and especially for the very depressed gold miners to rally. And so whereas the S&P is up 7% for the year, gold is up 10%. But gold is still down more than 30% since 2011, though. It seems like, was that a bubble? Has the gold bubble already burst at this point? That is the view of some people, and the majority of investors and strategists are rather bearish about gold. Mm -hmm. But in my view, given all the uncertainties that we have, all the money printing that we have, all the worsening geopolitical conditions that we have, 
I think investors should own some gold. And the GDXJ, the Junior Gold Mining Index, is up over 40% this year. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mark Faber. We really appreciate it and your insight onto a potential correction in stocks and, of course, uh, looking to gold and gold miners as a way to play that. Uh, Mark Faber Limited and Gloom, Boom, and Doom Report with one and only Dr. Mark Faber.